Hi, I'm Ross Hussey. I'm an attorney at Smith, Jade & Johnson. Today I'm going to talk to you about what a contractor should do when he or she comes across damage or defective work when working on an existing improvement or an improvement project. It's not uncommon that contractors will take on projects such as installing new windows or putting on an addition to a home or so on and so forth. And when they do, they find the existing work is either defective or has some sort of damage from pre-existing issues with the home. Now, when that happens, something to remember. The path to hell is paved with good intentions. You may want to help this homeowner out or property owner out by fixing that work. Or you may say, hey, it's not that bad. Let's just do a little remedial work here and just cover it up. But I'm here to tell you today that that is absolutely not the right thing to do. In order to properly protect yourself, you need to do three things. First, you need to make sure that you document this pre-existing damage or defective work. I would suggest taking photos of the work and also in your file notes or project notes, document that you came across this type of work. Be specific with the locations and specific with what was wrong with the work or what kind of damage you have. For example, if you go to install windows and find that there were stucco issues and that there could be serious rot underneath that stucco, make sure that you photograph all of those problems and all of the issues that surround where you are touching the home. Second, report this to the homeowner or property owner. It's incredibly important that you do. It seems obvious, but sometimes contractors feel that they can just make the repairs quickly and then simply just move on with the project. It's important that the homeowner or property owner understand that this defective work is existing and also that this damage is existing and that you need to now do something to remedy that. And number three, change order. You wanna make sure that you and the property owner have agreed on what the necessary repair is to repair that defective work or that damage. Also, make sure that you disclaim any warranties that you need to related to your work that might be affected by that damaged work. There are plenty of examples of contractors going out and doing what they can for the homeowner to maybe make those windows fit into uh, uh, situations where there's damage or defective work or to put siding on over uh, over rotted sheathing or to do other things that they feel that they're actually helping the homeowners all to find later on down the road they are now to blame for that damage and defective work even though they had nothing to do with it so this is how you best protect yourself and you want to make sure that the homeowner understands the scope of damage and the scope of defective work make sure that they know what would be necessary to fully repair and replace that damage or defective work. If, again, using the example of a potential stucco issues when you're installing windows, make it crystal clear to the homeowner that they may have to remove their stucco and that there may be additional damage, severe damage underneath that home. The homeowner may not wanna hear that, but it's important that you let them know that because they may have to engage in additional work that's necessary to protect themselves from further damage to their home. As with any project, the important thing is to make sure that the owner knows what's going on and is fully aware of the situation. That will help both the owner and the contractor protect themselves in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself and Smith, Jaden Johnson. Have a great day.